Tyrion, three hours ago in this brand new Netflix original movie, Leave the World Behind. And this movie's cast is so impressive. Julia Roberts, uh, Marshall Ali, Ethan Hawks, and Kevin Bacon also has a guest appearance in this movie. And uh, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I was like, whoa, I wonder what this movie is about. What all these people are running uh, from in this movie. And uh, this movie actually had quite high rating on Rotten Tomato score. And the audience score is quite low. But after watching, or should I say, after finishing the movie, I feel like, did these people on Rotten Tomato, did they finish this movie? Because I don't think so. How is this movie sitting such a high on Rotten Tomato score? Of course, this movie, it is directed by Sam Esmail. And after seeing this movie, I, I really feel like it was wasting of time. Well, I did like some of this character, their interaction with each other. And this movie has Mahershala Ali. I just love him as the actor. He's so amazing actor. He's actually quite good in this movie. Even the script he was given, he was actually giving quite good performance. Uh, Julia Roberts, I think she was okay in this movie. I can't believe she agreed to do this movie. It's beneath her. <laughs> However, Ethan Hawke is also so good. Uh, Ethan Hawke, I liked him a lot. And also there's uh, some other child actor this movie. So I personally thought this movie actually started out. I was like, whoa, this looks interesting. When you see this uh, family, they live in Brooklyn and they're going away to this fancy house in Hampton, I'm guessing, <laughs> because all these mentions there. And if you've been to Hampton, you know how it is. Uh, I thought the first act, or should I say first hour of this movie is actually quite interesting. You are like, whoa, what is going on? Uh, this family, you like Julia Roberts, uh, Ethan Huck, and their two kids, they look happy. They are having good time there. After, of course, uh, Maharshal Ali and his daughter, when they show up to Julia Roberts' uh, home, I was like, whoa, uh, where is this movie is going? Uh, I was really interested Then this movie, though. Uh, some of the scene in this movie, uh, like, it's so drag. Unbelievable. Some of the scene is just repeated. Uh, Why wow, so many scenes uh, by the pool? Uh, and although this movie, uh, like, when it started, I like watching this house because it was a beautiful house in Hampton. Uh, the one of those houses you hear about. And, uh, yeah, I was like, well, this looks interesting. Then, end of this movie, I was like, oh, I don't want to see this house anymore. It was really ridiculous. Uh, the way this movie ends, it leaves you like that was wasting of time. That's what I thought, end of it. I was like, that was wasting of my time. This movie is some of the part is doesn't make any sense. Like, wh what was going on with all this thing? It brings all this idea. Doesn't work. And although some of the scene is quite interesting, I'm going to say this, like it does have a little bit like twist and turn here and there. Not big enough to be this movie's runtime. It so felt like I was watching four hour movie. Uh, like that, it did, really, some of the scene is so drag. Uh, it, as the audience end of it, you feel like you really like, you wasted your time. Like, I don't know, what was Sam that a smile he was thinking? What is he thinking with this movie? He tried to bring all this big I talk, uh, big conspiracy theory, all this conspiracy about all these things. Yeah, he doesn't do execution, end of it. It will leave a lot of people angry. That is why I'm going to say this movie is really a waste of time. That is why this movie's uh, audience score is going down by the minute. Like uh, this morning, it was like, like, it was high, I think I saw it was 70 or something. Now it's 50. It will drop even lower because the, the way this movie end, it felt like it was unfinished movie. Ending left it too open. It, the ending is too open uh, for audience, unfortunately. Although, uh, although probably some of these critics are like, ooh, I love the ending. No, you don't. The ending is like unfinished. <laughs> you feel like half of this movie is missing. And this movie was already so long. I don't understand this. Uh, yeah, I, that is what I'm gonna say. End of it, I was like, really, I could have watched something else. I could have watched some other movies that are on Netflix. Why did I waste my time on this? And that's my thought on this. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this movie? If you enjoyed this review, don't watch my other reviews on other movies. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe until I see you next time. Please take care.